Vice magazine started 15 years ago in Montreal, Canada. We quickly became the coolest magazine in the country, but that's like being the coolest magazine in Kansas. We're being read in New York and London, though, and then we got the attention of a crazy nudist billionaire who brought us down to Manhattan for the dot-com revolution. That quickly fizzled out, as did our crazy nudist billionaire. So we moved to Brooklyn, got back to our punk roots, and started global expansion. First we went to England, then to Japan, Scandinavia, Germany, and soon we were in 30 countries. The thing about being in 30 countries is that's a lot of content. We now have 2,500 contributors around the world sending stuff in every month. It's an online television network, but it's not TV. VBS is music, it's culture, and it's news. We're coming back with the stuff that nobody else has. We're putting it up online. We followed the only heavy metal band in Baghdad. We went to Bolivia. We went to the Philippines. I went to Sudan and snuck into Darfur. We're going to North Korea. We're going all over the place. We're doing music in a different way, like going to the band's practice space, or we have a show called Soft Focus, interviewing bands, much like inside the actor's studio, but punk. Let's do bands that matter. Let's do the bands you won't see on MTV. But we also do culture. We do Epically Latered, which is a skateboarding show where we follow the skateboarders that the kids really want to see. We shoot it, we cut it, it's up the next day. So there's an immediacy there that you can't get on any other medium. It's democracy in action, it's grassroots. Viva la revolution!